Let it go, let it go. And it's really simple. Today, I'm going to teach you five wicked step over skills that are particularly good for midfielders. Now, of course, it's nice for everyone to learn some cool step overs, but if you are a midfielder, you definitely want to learn these moves so you can waltz around defenders like Jeff here. So let's get you subscribed to the channel and let's go learn some moves. So the first move is a nice one where you want to wrong foot the defender and then beam off in the other direction. We can call it the goldfish, I guess. You'll understand why in a bit. But basically it works really well if you're face to face with the defender where you can take a little touch towards them and then make a little tap touch to the side as the bait because hopefully they will start making a step in that direction already. And this is where you sell the move, guys. So you basically make a little body thing going that direction as if you want to take a longer touch. But instead of touching the ball, you're going to step over it and immediately start turning your body. And when your support leg then hits the ground, you can explode off in the other direction. Because if the defender takes the bait, they will put all their weight going this direction, making your job a hell of a lot easier. The second move is something we can call the uh, tap, step over, tap, I guess, again. And it's basically a classic tap outside step over move that you can then finish off depending on where the defender goes. Now, I don't know how many defenders would do this, but if you make your tap outside step over and they cover this area, you just push it out with your weak foot like you would normally do. However, if they take the bait, when you throw that body feint, they cover the other area, you can just whoop, make a little cut tap in a 90 degree motion going that way. Their weight is over here. There's a lot of space over here for you. So it's gonna look like this. Come in, step, whoop. And I guess we can call the third move the dragon roll because you do a drag and roll. Drag and roll, you get it? Okay. Anyways, it's pretty good if you're caught in a tight space with a defender close to you and you want to get out, make some moves, right? So you basically do a V drag back roll, roll it with the sole of your foot, push it out with the inside of your foot behind your standing foot. But instead of just taking a touch out, where Jeff can come in, run in front of you, take the ball, that sucks. Instead, you do the V drag back, then you grab the ball with the sole of your weak foot and then you roll it back where you came from, stepping over the ball and moving out. And it's particularly nice because not only do you throw potentially a few body feints here, but you also protect the ball at all times from Jeff coming in for a tackle. And if you can do this quickly, Jeff is gonna be in a lot of problems. Whoop, 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 wait. The fourth step over skill is inspired by a modern Disney classic. In other words, I call this the let it go, let it go and it's really simple. Which is great, because you don't even have to touch the ball, and if you're like me, that means there's a smaller risk of screwing up. But basically, if you've got a defender close to you, and there's a pass coming in, you check your shoulder to see if there's a little bit of space behind you, and then when the pass comes, you make a little pre-run, you just let it roll through your legs. Just like that. It's very simple. So a little pre-run forward, opens up, ball runs through your legs, you turn around, Hopefully the defender will have made that little step forward when you make your pre-run and there's not too many people right behind you so you can turn, get the ball, make some magic. That's it. Let it go. And the final move is something we can call see you mate, which is brilliant if the defender is running on your side and you want to shake them off. Now here, you can try and do that by throwing a fake powerful change of direction with a step over on top. But you're not gonna change direction, that's our little secret. See, what you wanna do here is, you wanna run forward, and then you wanna plant your foot, step over the ball, and turn your entire body as if you're going back in that direction. But you're not gonna, because as you then lift your support leg to take the touch back where you came from, you don't touch the ball, but ooh, you push it forward instead, and hopefully there will be a bit of space to run into, because the defender will have to do two things. A, when you break very powerfully, they're gonna have to break as well. And also because you change direction so quickly, they're gonna have to try and catch up, believing, hopefully, that you will go that direction. But as we all know, 
You're not gonna. See you, mate. So, if you're armed with these five step overs and some good reflexes, I pity the defenders who have the audacity to think that they can come and take the ball away from you. You? The step over king after watching this video? <laughs> I don't think so. But guys, tell me what you want us to teach you next in the comment section right down below. And then remember that you can go and gear up in the Nike Recharge Boots if you click the link to unisportstore.com right over there, of course. But not of course, before you make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more wicked football skills like these. But maybe also just do it because we're pretty cool peeps. So get subscribing with the notifications on. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.